Uh, I mean, the first thing that jumps out is our seating. Uh, this game, you know, just points out a lot about uh, just where we want to be seated in the tournament and uh, in the ACC tournament as well. If we win, uh, we get that double bye. And, uh, but if we lose, you know, we just have to play on Wednesday. And it's clear that we don't want to do that. And, you know, that's what we're focusing on right now is just, you know, the little things that we need to do to uh, pull out this victory. Sure does. Sure does. It doesn't feel like Saturday will come any faster, even though it's a few hours away. Uh, to be honest, like I've seen, like you know, Payen, Luke, you know, all them guys have their senior day, and you know they were re pretty emotional, and I was like, okay, man, you're probably gonna be like that, but. I don't know, this morning I kind of woke up and I was like excited. You know, I'm just like excited for the game, maybe because it's tournament time. And, you know, I'm always excited around tournament time. But, you know, it's probably going to hit me uh, after the game, you know, when you have to, you know, finally say your farewells and everything. That's when it's probably going to hit me. How many old shows do you think you've Since I've been here, well, I heard about like 10 in the last two minutes. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, you can just do the math on there. How old are you? 24. 34? 24. <laughs> <laughs> what do you remember about the first number then? Uh, just how long it was. Uh, I just remember Russ taking all those ridiculous shots. And, uh, but, you know, it's just shots that he takes in practice and he makes. So, you know, in my mind, I'm like, yes, it's going in, and then he misses it. But uh, it was just a tough game. I mean, it was a road game, and, uh, you know, it was just two teams, two great teams going at it. And, uh, you know, we just felt really short after five overtimes. Uh, I mean, the same thing that we expect from Notre Dame every single game. Uh, you know, they come in, they play hard. It's a well, well coached team. Uh, they, you know, they're all veterans, and you know they know they know what they're doing as a team. So, uh, you know, we all just got to be locked in and uh, just know how we lost the game and why we lost the game the last few times, and uh, you know, try to prevent that from happening on Saturday. Uh, I mean, it's a lot. I mean, for your body, basically, you just don't want to. You want to play one less game than you than you have to uh, to get to the championship. But uh, I mean, if we have to, we have to, and we're gonna go out there and uh, play hard like we always do and play Louisville basketball. Coaches uh, traditionally said guys don't get fatigued. Uh, is four games in four days. Uh, well, if you look back at it, we all played AAU, and we've had to play three games in one day and everything. So it's nothing that we can't do. Uh, you know, we got a bunch of tough guys on this team, and coach pushes us to, you know, high extremes. And, uh, you know, we're going to be able to do it if we have to do it. But, you know, we just try to avoid that from happening. I mean, definitely. Uh, you know, when you you got a bunch of them that are in the NBA right now, and uh, I mean, as a kid, that's all you dream about is to play in the NBA. But just knowing that you got, you know, a few teammates that are actually in the NBA and actually doing great things for them, uh, you know, you just tend to look back and say, you know, those was, you know, some fun times. You got Luke who won, you know, Final Four MVP and all of that. So, uh, you know, we've had some great players. Uh, in the past, especially in the past four years, and uh, and I'm just it's a privilege for me to be, you know, their teammate. Can I talk about what you mean, what you gotten out of your career? You're pretty, pretty, pretty pleased. Even though you've had some ups and downs, and I know last year wasn't you wanted, but what you've gotten in the top of your time. Oh, definitely. Uh, you know, I came 
down here I was a role basketball player. Uh, you know, I wasn't really thinking basketball, basketball, basketball. I mean, played it, watched it, but wasn't really thinking basketball. And then, you know, you come here, you're coached by a Hall of Fame coach. Uh, you got a bunch of talented guys on your team that uh, just force you to think basketball. And, you know, the game becomes more, you know, that much fun. And, uh, you know, my career here has, like you said, has had ups and downs, but, you know, you don't think too much about the downs, you just think too much about the ups and, you know, you just move on with your with your career. Senior days tend to be pretty crazy as far as the crowd and the red out and all that kind of stuff. What do you remember from, from the past four that you've seen with the guys and, and how exciting it can get tomorrow? Uh, I mean, it gets very exciting. Uh, it's your last game. I mean, you want to go out with a with a W. You want to go out with one of your best games of your career, uh, especially in front of your fans. Uh, you know, just people that you you know you grew up uh, around, the people that you just turn you know into a man around. So, uh, I mean, it's gonna be emotional. It's gonna be huge, especially when you're playing Notre Dame. So much things is at stake, and you know we definitely all the one who went to their place, and you know they beat us and. Right now, it's just about taking care of business on Saturday. Uh, my guardian, my American family, is coming down from Florida. And they're going to walk down with me. Nah. <laughs> Definitely not. I'm not going to. Nah. <laughs> Well, with David, it's been great. Uh, you know, he came in, and he was just this little skinny kid. And then now he's just a guy that we look to when we need, uh, you know, when we need a bucket, when we need, like, offensive spark uh, coming off the bench. He's always there for us. And, you know, he's grown tremendously, and he's helped us a lot. He's definitely going to help us in the tournament. And, you know, adding Tony to it uh, this year was definitely a, a huge bonus for us. Uh, you guys don't get to see much of Tony. I've seen like a few games of him playing. But uh, he's a special, you know, a special player. He's really good on defense. Uh, you know, very quick, gets to the lane pretty easy, gets everybody open. So, uh, you know, we're definitely going to need both of these guys to play their best basketball, you know, for us to make a huge run uh, in the tournament. But, you know, last game on Saturday, it's going to be, it's going to be great. Uh, especially with these two guys. Anything else from Mango? 